So in section 15.3, we are exploring conservative vector fields. Before we begin this exploration, we need to establish some important definitions relating to curves and regions. So with definition number one, we are looking at simple and closed curves. So we want to suppose that a curve C in either R2 or R3 is described parametrically by a vector valued function R of T such that T is greater than or equal to A less than or equal to B. So we say that C is a simple curve if vector R of T sub 1 does not equal vector R of T sub 2 for all T sub 1 and T sub 2 such that t sub 1 is greater than a, but less than t sub 2, which is less than b. So what exactly does this mean? This means that c is never going to intersect itself between the endpoints. So we say that c never in intersects itself between the endpoints. So a simple curve never intersects itself between its endpoints. And using those same initial conditions, we say that C is closed if R, vector R of A is equal to vector R of B. So again, we think to ourselves, well, what exactly does this mean? This means that the initial and terminal points are the same. Or another way to say this is just simply the endpoints are the same. Right? We have the same start and the same finish. So let's go ahead now and look at some illustrations of these simple enclosed curves. So illustration number one, we want to know what does a simple enclosed curve C look like? So a simple enclosed curve C looks something like this. We have that it's never intersecting itself and the start and finish points are the same. So next we think to ourselves, well, what does a curve that is not closed and simple look like? So if it's not closed, that means that the initial and the endpoints are different. So here's your start, here's your finish, these are different, but we know that it's simple so this curve can never intersect itself. In case three, we think to ourselves, what does a closed but not simple curve look like? So if it's closed, the endpoints are the same, but if it's not simple, that means that somewhere in between those endpoints, the curve intersects itself. So you have that same start, same finish, but we have an intersection point. And last but not least, what about if our curve is not closed and not simple? So this means we have a different start or a different, different endpoints as well as an intersection. So you can see here's where the curve C starts. Here's where the curve C finishes. And we see that we have this intersection point occurring right there. 